Yo, what's going on guys? It's Scott Beams. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over how to make something smooth for Jay Worthy and Larry Jones. No more talking, man. Let's get straight into it. All right, so for this one, I started a little different. The BPM is 69 and I got this drum loop out of Splice. So next I went and grabbed Ripcord and I got this rose out of Keyscape and this is what I came up with. For the effects on that, all I have is the EQ just shaping it. All right, so for my next sound, I got this EP on how to roll the keyboards. For the effects on that, I have an effect rack and I have a Valhalla Vintage Reverb. So for my next sound, I got this organ out of contact. For the effects on that, all I have is the EQ just shaping. All right, so for my bass, I went to contact and got the Rickenbacker bass. As you can see with these, um, some of them are off the grid. I mean, just play with the bass, you know what I mean? And try to, you know what I mean, get it real groovy, you know what I mean? Everything don't gotta really be hitting on the grid. All right, so next I got these two effects from Splice. For the effects on that, all I have is a shaper box, an EQ, an R comp, a flangus, a Valhalla vintage reverb, and this is what it sounds like all together. That's pretty much it for the video, man. Hopefully you found something useful. If you did, man, hit that like button if I'm doing a good job. Make sure you comment below what you want to see next. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and one love, you heard?